Right, I've now resorted to residing under this tree here. Of course, with it being the first episode of the ad show, how could I not put a Doctor Who sale in this sales update? She did say though she thinks it is a local artist. I guess that whoever donated it maybe told her a little bit of information about it or something. Run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show! Well hello there, and welcome to The Ad Show. In this show, we will be doing all manner of reselling activities, including sales updates, haul videos, and, you've guessed it, reselling vlogs. Wait, this isn't really me. Uh, mm, I better have another try at it. Well howdy there folks, and welcome to The Ad Show. On this show, we boast all sorts of reselling content for your viewing pleasure. So, we've got sales updates, we've got haul videos, and yes, you've guessed it, we've got reselling vlogs! Hello there, and welcome to the ads show. We boast all sorts of reselling content, including sales updates, Whole videos and reselling vlogs. Why, hello there, and welcome to the ad show. A show that boasts all sorts of reselling content vlogs, haul videos, sales updates. We've got it all, baby. So, why don't you take my hand, come with me? And let's enter into this world together. Daddy! Daddy! What do I need to say for the camera? I forgot again! Oh! Oh, why? Uh, hi there! Uh, welcome to the ad show! Uh, I forgot! What do I say? Reselling contents and uh, sales updates and daddy, what was the last one? Blogs? Blo blo oh, blogs. And we have blogs as well. Subscribe. Don't worry, it is me. I'm back from playing the old characters. So that being said, what actually is the ad show? In all serious now, uh, in all serious now, in all seriousness now, what actually is the ad show? So, it's a segment based show uh, that will include all the things you are familiar with within reselling. The sales updates, the hauls, the vlogs, possibly I'll do a Q&A section or something like that. Um, the hunting videos, all that sort of stuff will be included in this kind of segment based show. Uh, it's pro probably going to be around a half an hour to an hour. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a new, a completely new format um, to kind of dispense reselling content. Um, and without too much rambling, without any further ado or anything like that, um, I'll get on with this and we will start the first segment. So welcome to the ad show. This is disgusting. Why have you got a load of alcohol bottles on the table? Disgusting. I want them in a, a raffle. I want them. Want them in a raffle. I want them in a raffle. Yes, Electra. Are you going to give us some food? Give us some food. Look at that mucky tray. Overnight, you've been a messy girl. Look at mm -hmm. you. So, are you, you're out drinking tonight then with all these bottles? No. I'm you're not. out drinking? They're the pre drinks. You got a whole bottle of Malibu for the pre-drinks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's the ad, ad show today. So this is the vlog section. So we're going in town as usual. We are, yes. I need to check out if there's a car boot on. I'm going to get a leaflet yeah, from one of the so uh, places. Let's get going. Let's get on with the day. Oh, yeah, let's get on with the day. I don't like being filmed. <laughs>
<laughs> so yes we are in town today and i'm having a look around the charity shops obviously i've done uh, a little bit of picking already um not got anything at the moment but i've done the kind of uh, what i consider the slightly less quality charity shops in town um but now it's on to the better ones so uh, yeah i'm feeling optimistic let's see what we can pick up today So I am in Sainsbury's now, I have got some items, in fact some pretty heavy items. My mum isn't around and I've tried calling her and literally she's, her phone must be turned off or something. So yeah, I'm kind of a little bit stranded because I don't have the car keys. We only have one set of car keys at the moment, basically long story short, the uh, car key came off the key ring and we've not been able to fix it yet. So instead of having it loose in my pocket, I just keep it at home basically. Yeah, we're getting that sorted anyway, but I'm literally stranded, so I'm just, I'm going to try ringing my mum again, see if she'll pick up, uh, but I need to know where she is so then we can get this stuff in the car. I'll turn uh, you around now and I'll show you what I've got anyway. So today I've got a load of paintings, as you can see here, one uh, big kind of oil painting to the back there. I'm going to show you in more detail when I get home or possibly in the whole segment of the video, um, but yeah, that's what I've got today, so I did actually get a few items in the end, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Well, I've decided to sit down in the little alcove in Sainsbury's between the outside and the inside um, and just see if someone turns up, basically. So you're not going to be able to see this very well, but there's basically loads of people leaving the car park all at the same time. It goes back down there as well, but you can't really see it. Um, I don't know why, but obviously it's just gone past 12 o'clock. So I suppose everyone goes out at that time, but it's not normally this bad, like there's loads of people. Or like half the car park, well not half the car park, but about 25% of the car park. Look at all the spaces. Look, they're all backing up here as well. Look at this, mental. Also, I think it was a bad decision to come to the car. I thought my mum might be at the car, but she isn't. And now it's starting to rain again. And I've got that oil painting, so I'm gonna have to go back inside before that gets at all wet. Oh god, this is terrible. I shouldn't keep moving around. Why don't I just stick to one location? Bloody hell. Oh, look at this. I mean, today, today is a day for first world problems. Right, I've now resorted to residing under this tree here, which is actually quite, makes quite a nice canopy. Uh, the problem is, when I was walking back to Sainsbury's, because obviously it was starting to rain, uh, my bag broke and so i'm just gonna stay here for a little bit i think unless the rain gets really heavy and literally this tree uh, makes for no protection anymore you know at times my life really does make me laugh this could be something of a carry on movie or something i've literally the, the rain started to come down right through the tree so i've had to spread my legs and then get against the tree like this <laughs> to cover up the painting um, and I don't really think that's going to have much avail, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. So the rain has calmed down a little bit and I moved from the tree to this little indoor thing. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but basically, I've still got the oil paint in here. It doesn't look like it's been wet or anything like that. It doesn't look like it's got any drips on it, I don't think. Well, the frame has a couple of drips, but the actual painting doesn't, so we're looking okay. Still don't know where my mum is. It's been probably about half an hour or so now, 
Uh, I'm gonna go into Sainsbury's, I'm gonna try and uh, leg it over there. So I am back in the same seat from uh, where I left before. And as I said, I probably shouldn't have left, but or, or I said something like that anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm just back here anyway, so. Why, why do I, why do I just take my own advice and just stay in the one place? So, we're back at the car. My mum's there finally, we're sorted, we're in. Uh, are we going to the other charity shops today or not? Uh, yes, you can. Do. Oh, what are we doing? What are we Cash, doing? Care UK. Yeah, we're going to another couple Hartford, of charity shops. Yeah. Did you awesome. want to? And then we're going to see Grom Grandad as well. Yeah, if you want yeah. to. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're back on. We've got a few more things to do. So uh, let's get on with the day. Right, so we are just going into uh, one of the final charity shops. In the last charity shop, I managed to break something, didn't I? Yeah. I managed to break something, so yeah, that wasn't brilliant. I'll show you that later on in the whole video anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll get on and do a little bit of picking. So we have just done one of the charity shops, uh, a bit of a change of plan, here is my auntie, never, she'd never really been on camera before, um, so yeah we're actually heading to my grandparents now, uh, they've got my granddad's brother around who I've not seen probably for years, um, so yeah we'll go there and uh, maybe I'll get some footage around there, uh, I need some lunch as well so I might politely ask my grandma if I can do some lunch around there, use a hob, uh, maybe make an omelette or something because I'm getting so hungry. It's like two o'clock now and I've not had lunch, so yeah, let's get on with it. So we are here at the Park Homes place uh, to see my grandma and granddad. Um, my mum's reversing the car back that way for some reason. She going to reverse all the way up there. My God, she's actually reversing all the way up there. So yeah, we'll go in and uh, see you there. My dad's here as well, actually. His car is here. So uh, yeah, we'll go in and see them. What we were in oh, two yeah. years just, on the canvas. Right. Yeah. No water. Yeah. One, yeah. one tap down here yeah. between about 250 blocks. Oh, yeah, we've got oh, one water tap. Yeah, we've got, we've got yeah. To get up in the morning, yeah. get down there, Quick. get a bowl full, yeah. yeah. and shave. Yeah, if you had a little bit of air on there, you'd be a <laughs> oh, the wow. There's me. Wow, it's one. So for the purpose of the video, which country was this? Uh, Cyprus. 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 <laughs> Slim boy. Yeah. Slim, yeah. Slim boy. Yeah. Slim boy. Slim handsome. <laughs> and there's me at the back there. Oh, there he is. There. Yeah, that one. And there's me there. Yeah. I'm a flat you cat, a cheese cutter. Is you She's brilliant actress. That was my best mate, Johnny Brown. He was a scouser. Oh yeah. And all these were my best pals. And there, there's me with a, a single. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this was a ramp where you used to put the vehicles up on this. Oh, yeah, I remember that photo. Yeah. 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 And we used to do the vehicles when we got, we drove these onto the ramp and did all the engineering bits underneath. Hi, um, I'm William. I live in Cheshire. I'm 54 years old and I'm a training and development specialist. And this is his Tinder profile. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, you are funny. Why are you doing it like a Tinder profile? So what is it you need to know? Exactly. It's not a Tinder dating app thing. 
no, I'm just, here just, to help. Just do a little, you don't have to be crazy, just do a okay. little segment uh, on the vlog, right, you know. so we're at my mum and dad's today. There we um, go. It's uh, a bit rainy outside at the moment. Yeah. About three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Um, and granddad's my, brother's around. Granddad, my dad's brother's around. Um, he's been showing us some photographs from Australia when he went. Um, and we're just catching up, having a cup of tea and a, something to eat. And chill. Yeah, and chill, just yeah. Uh, relaxing, really. You've, you've had some lunch, haven't you? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And uh, I am available for meeting up. No, you're not single. <laughs> Stop saying for God's sake. Right, what are these boxes like? Oh, a nice little car. Yeah, they'll definitely fit in the car. We've got quite a bit of shopping and stuff. And do you we've want got that, Wendy's you want that well. one? Small one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just whack it in. We, they'll fit in anyway. I just didn't know whether you meant like really big ones. No, no, just that's, that's the biggest one. Yeah. I can oh, right, there's that one as well. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably I, fit I that I can in. flatten that if you want me to. I think we should be okay. I think we might just about fit it in. I can have one on my knee anyway. It doesn't really matter. See, I can always flatten it for you if you want. And there's all two boxes in there as well. Nah, I may as well just keep it like that because then we'll have the others two out anyway, won't we, if you flatten it. So. Right. Where's the the dog sign gone as well? But it's like a dog sign there. It's there, that next one. Oh, right, yeah. No, I like it with it being wavy rather than just like yeah, a full bit of grass. Wavy, it's nice, yeah. And then some plants as well. Although you could do with putting a few more plants like yeah, that, haven't we've, you? Yeah, but we've got a lot of these out. You see, these have cut these right down. Oh, yeah, yeah. The well known gone, ones there. Uh, lavender. These are lavender. There's yeah. one, two there, one there, and the great big one, they take that up. Yeah. And then we have a lot of uh, bedding plants in the, you know, in the uh, early months. Yeah, So yeah. now's the time to chop everything down, that's why it's Yeah. Nice. Here she is. Our carriage awaits. So it is the next day now and I'm going to share with you the charity shop haul. So what did I pick up? Well, I picked up mainly artwork and paintings. There are a couple of other little bits in there as well. Um, but yeah, as a lot of you will be aware, I've been having a little bit of success with artwork and paintings recently. I've been sharing them on the sales updates. And I've really been getting interested in picking them up. I don't know why, but I've really, really been enjoying picking them up. Um, they seem to be easy for me to process, easy for me to deal with. I just enjoy them for whatever reason. I don't have any knowledge on, on them. I don't have any knowledge on pricing them or anything like that. With a lot of artwork, it seems to me that I either can't find it on complete and sold, or if I do, it's maybe a slight variant of it or something like that. With the odd exception, of course, here and there. If it's maybe a popular artist or something, you might be able to find more of them. But it seems that a lot of it is just simply make up a price. So I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to allocate some prices to items that I kind of feel is a rough ballpark with my own knowledge. I'm not saying that that's going to be the final price point I aim for. I may end up going higher. I may end up going lower, um, depending on you know when I come to list them, what I feel for the item. Because obviously the price may change with... Uh, with time, you know, if, if it's a week or so later that I'm listing these items, I may end up putting an extra 10, 20 pound on top because generally in antiques and collectibles, that's what happens. You kind of, when you come, when you buy the item, you might think you're going to list it at one price, but then when you actually come to list it, you end up increasing the price or dec decreasing the price. It's very odd. It's not like with toys and games where you know you're going to just price it at one set kind of figure. But with that being said, let's uh, get on. I won't do any more rambling because I know that was a, a little bit long of a pre-ramble there. Uh, but with that being said, I will share with you the first item. So, first off, is this rather funky, uh, I think it's an oil painting um, by, well, I was talking to the charity shop manager, we think the signature says Carmen, but we can't be 100% sure. She did say, though, she thinks it is a local artist, I guess that whoever donated it maybe told her a little bit of information about it or something. Um, but yeah, it's a funky looking piece, it looks like there's loads of different people, uh, load, like there's umbrellas and stuff up here, possibly it's a really windy day and there's all these coats and stuff being whisked in together kind of thing and there's also these arches up here uh, I don't know maybe whether it's somewhere underground or something some like well I suppose it wouldn't be windy 
in an underground railway or something but it kind of has that look to it with the arches i'm really not sure but it's an interesting quirky looking piece uh, i paid a fiver for it there there's the signature there it's upside down obviously in this position but the other signature actually looks a little bit better. This one I can hardly even make out. Um, but yeah, £5 for that. Unfortunately, they've stickered it on the actual painting, which isn't very good. So I'm a little bit nervous about getting that sticker off. But we'll just have to see anyway. But very, very interesting. Now, I did get another one of these actually as well. And I probably will be selling these as a pair. So I'll get the other one up now. So here is the other one. This is my least favourite of the two. It's a little bit more... Um, I don't want to say mundane because it's not mundane at all, but it's not as vibrant. It's not. It doesn't have loads going on like the other one. The other seem. The other one seems to have a little bit more going on. But we've got this lady figure here. With again, it looks like maybe it might be a windy day. She's got scarves coming down there, and we've got loads of different people in these sort of outfits. Um, possibly they're, they're even like they've got ponchos on or something. I'm not sure. Um, but all with the same sort of hats and the same sort of umbrellas. Very very interesting. I don't know what sort of period they're going for here. Um, I'm really not sure. I'd just be guessing, but it looks like they could be going for an old style period with the way the woman's dressed here as well, and possibly with the top hats as well. And then we've got this black here, so you never know, it might even be nighttime in this painting. I'm not sure, but it's very, very interesting, quirky again. Not something that I would have on my wall, obviously, as I mentioned in other haul videos. I like the more traditional artwork, and um, because that kind of is a good contrast to my bold and eccentric personality whereas if i had really bold uh, really bold artwork on the wall that would be kind of a conflict of interest with my own personality and my own psychology at least that's how i'm trying choosing to define why i like traditional artwork on the wall opposed to uh, more eccentric stuff which you would imagine i would like but i far too much over analyze myself so i won't go into that um but yeah again uh, five pound on that one. Again, the sticker is on the painting, which I don't particularly like. Um, and then there is the signature. It's a little bit better on this one, but you see, it's still hard to work out. There's definitely a C. I think this here might be an M, and we were just kind of guessing that it said Carmen. It actually it does, no, it actually does look, when you look pretty close, it does look pretty much like Carmen. I don't know how well you're going to see it, though, there. How well you're going to make that out yourselves. Um... So yeah, five on that one. So £10 on the two of them. I really was just taking a punt. I really was just kind of shooting in the dark, really. Now, for whatever reason, a figure has come into my mind. And I don't know whether I'm way off. If, there might be people out there who sell, who watch this and... Uh, you know sell paintings full time and it's what we do and they can go go in the comments and maybe give me a bit of help with this but for whatever reason the figures coming on my mind selling them as a pair um, for 59.99 plus my postage I don't know where that figures come from it's just a figure in my own mind uh, apparently this is a local I don't know if I said actually but apparently this is a local artist maybe I did say actually a minute ago but if it is a local artist, I probably won't be able to find them on eBay anywhere anyway. So it's simply just a case of making up a price and seeing if someone likes them. And, you know, someone will like them. There's someone out there for all sorts of different artwork. Um, but it's just kind of finding that right person and, and actually seeing if they would pay £60 for the pair of them. But yeah, £10. Definitely, I'm going to get 30 or 40 quid for the pair, no doubt, no doubt, but I think that's a little bit too low, to be honest, uh, and maybe even 60 is a little bit too low, but I think that's more in the ballpark, in the, in the region, really, but as I say, that's just me kind of making up a price with the little knowledge I have, so yeah, that's those two there, anyway. So, next we've got, is it Luke Pick, I think is this one? Now, I've never seen the word, the name Luke spelt in that way, L-U-C. Uh, obviously, it's normally, what is it normally? It's uh, L-U-K-E, isn't it, normally? Or what's the other way of spelling Luke? There's another way of spelling it, isn't there? As well as this L-U-C, but I've not really ever seen it spelt that way. Anyway, it's a watercolour, more of a traditional style um, landscape, obviously, and it's nice. It's a really, really nice one. Um, it's, it's my sort of thing, to be honest. It really is. Um, now, I paid £3 for this, and I was only in an R in doing that, really, because, of course, it's only in this card frame. It's not in a wooden frame or anything. Now, I would have had no trouble paying 3 quid if it was in a wooden frame, even though it is only just a small little painting. Um, but with it being in this card frame, I was only in an R in for a little bit, thinking, should I? 
I should now. But I still think, you know, there's got to be $12.99 in that, plus my postage, possibly even $14.99, even in this little card frame. And then obviously someone could choose to put it in, if they can find a nice little wooden frame for it, they can choose to do that. And you can see on the back there, uh, this watercolour, well, I'll read it out there. You can pause the video now if you want to read it yourselves, but I'll read it out to you anyway. So, this watercolour of Bruges, I think I don't think you pronounce the S on Bruges, so it's not Bruges, is it? But Bruges is, original, is an original hand painting by the artist himself. Seven years of experience in Academy. I don't know what Academy that is, but in some sort of Academy. I'm assuming some sort of Art Academy. Um, but yeah, that's that one there anyway, three quid. As I say, probably like 12 99 14 99 I'll go on that one, unless I go on eBay and there's some of this artist and it's actually like a really well-known artist and stuff and it, it's worth a bomb. But I don't, I can't see it being being that, but we'll see anyway. I'll do a bit more research onto it, but I don't think, as I say, I don't think it's going to be that, so therefore I'll just do sort of standard pricing on it. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. So we'll do something that isn't really artwork. I mean, it is artwork because it's a form of sculpture, but you know, it's not artwork in the in the sense of a painting. Um, so there's this sort of tribal figure souvenir wear from Africa, of course, um, and then two pound on that one. I paid same charity shop as that other item I just showed you there. Actually, the, the stickers the same, so you could probably tell. Um, now I've sold quite a few of these over the last eighteen months. Generally, I mean, this is quite a tall one. I mean, it's not particularly well done, but it's a little bit more well done than some of the ones I've seen. But it's not a really, really, really good well done one. I've done whole videos on this explaining these and explaining, uh, you know, basically how I tell whether it's a little bit better one or a little bit worse one. But sometimes you can just pick it up, really. Um, I think on this one, I'll probably go about 14 99 plus my postage. It won't be a really, really quick seller, but it will go eventually. So from 2 quid into 15 quid, pretty happy with that one there um, and I've sold tons of these I've absolutely sold tons of these but yeah they do just take a little while to go these so yeah that's that one there right so next I've got another couple of paintings another couple of watercolors here uh, Chateau oh I can't even I can't even read that out there it's in the corner there I don't think you're gonna see it very well but yeah some sort of Chateau anyway really nice actually this uh, watercolor really cool I quite like it I was actually thinking, is this a print, is this a print? But I was looking more more and more closely and I thought, no, no, that's got to be a watercolour. So I am pretty sure that this is a watercolour um, and it's not a print. But it's by C. Ricart or something, is that? I don't know whether it's going to say on the back, no. C. Ricart or Ricart? Yeah, I think it's C. Ricart. Maybe it's French or something with a name like that. But yeah, really, really nice item. Again, this nice little wooden frame. Uh, £3.50 I paid for this. Now, I actually got two of these and it's by the same artist again like that like those other two that I showed so I'll get this other one up for you so we've got this one again here which is uh, Chateau de Chambard maybe that other one was Ch oh no no that's actually a longer name so maybe that's a different Chateau but again £3.50 on this one. Nice looking like watercolour again by the same artist this uh, C. Ricard uh, what is it Ricard? Ricard? We can't, we can't. I'm trying to do it in a French accent, but it's not working, is it? So I would, I would say like Chateau de la Chambourg or something, and then uh, Sea Record or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm try, I'm, I'm halfway in between French and English a minute ago. Um, but yeah, again, three fifty on this one. Again, uh, in this nice white frame, I'm thinking of pairing. The, well, I don't know actually. What do you think? Pair these together or not? I mean, let's uh, answers on a postcard, please, underneath in the comments because. They're two different chateaus, aren't they? So they don't really make a complete bundle, do they? Like an obvious bundle. So it might be better to actually uh, separate these. But I, I guess I was thinking on the pair, maybe about 40 or 50 quid, something like that on the pair of them. So I guess I'd just halve that and maybe go... 24.99 29.99 on singular ones something like that so from 350 i'm still happy with that again it's going to be one that may take a little while to go but I'm probably not going to go immediately or anything like that and again i will do a quick bit of research on the artist but i can't see it most of the artists that i come across uh, from what i've sold so far as i say with my little bit of experience that i've got um they don't seem to be like big names or anything so it, the chances are that it's not 
and you know the, this artist isn't uh, unfortunately like a really popular name or anything like that so therefore i can just do some sort of standard uh pricing on them so yeah possibly if i sell them individually 24.99 29.99 i'd probably be more likely go 29.99 first off but yeah 350 on each of those and we'll see you know we'll see how we perform we'll see if i do end up getting that price for them or we'll see if i end up getting a little bit more for them so yeah that's that one there anyway and then i picked this one up because it was two quid well it was stickered up at two quid but obviously the price is gone i don't know where the price is gone the stick has been taken off at some point um and this is corf castle dorset and it's by c wheeler um and yeah you know nice standard looking little painting really a little bit quirky actually um in the style of it it's just a little you know just slightly quirky um I mean, it's got this fairly okay frame on. The frame's got a tiny little bit of wear, uh, you know, in little bits and uh, bits and bobs, different places. Um, in fact, I'm just thinking then to myself, I could probably get certain bits of this off, actually. So there's certain little bits of wear to it, but I think that I might be able to clean it up a little bit better. So, yeah, Corf Castle Dorset. I've had another Corf Castle one. In fact, I think I might have sold it. Uh, it might have been a little bit smaller than this one. If I have sold it, I think I remember I got about $24.99, $29.99 for it. If I haven't sold it, then it's still on for around that price. So I think that I'm going to just go similar on this one, sort of like $24.99, $29.99. But from two quid, you know, into 25 30 quid, can't go wrong with that all day long. So, yeah, and I don't think this one, with it being the subject matter and stuff, and maybe people might be searching for this Corf Castle artwork, you know, I don't think it's going to take forever to sell, so yeah, we'll see on that one anyway, but from two quid, I wasn't going to pass up that one. So, this was the pot I broke. Do you remember me saying in the vlog yesterday about um, basically how I broke the lid off a pot? Well, I was picking up that little bit of artwork from that loop guy there. And I walked over and saw this pot, and it had the lid on it, and I picked up the lid. I don't even know how I did this. I was trying to shuffle that artwork around in my hand, I think, or something like that. And my I didn't put the lid in my other hand properly or something, and obviously with having cerebral palsy in this hand, it can be sometimes annoying. And, uh, yeah, it kind of... I just watched it flop fall. And you know when you watch something fall and it looks like it's falling in slow motion and you think, no! Well, that, that was what happened. And then the lid just smashed. So, of course, all breakages, all breakages have to be paid for. So I have, had to pay for it. It was... It was it's still, yeah, it's still on there. It was five quid. I was going to pick it up for five quid with the lid. I know it seems a little bit much for one of these rum tough uh, pots here. Uh, these sort of West German pots. But it's a funky one, this one. You know, it's not just the standard kind of cream and brown one. Um, and you get, I think there's also a red one as well that you can get. And possibly a, uh, actually there's a full cream one. And then there's another brown one. And then there's a red one. Um, but this is funky. This has got a bit of colour to it. So I thought, you know what, I'd probably get like 24 99 plus my postage. And that is going high for one of these rum tough um, pots. But because it's got that colour on, I thought with the lid and everything, it, it would go for that. Of course... I broke the lid, so it's not going to go for that now. I don't know what I'm going to sort of charge without the lid. Obviously, I can still sell it. I can still, I mean, I could even market it a bit more as a, as a planter as well. I can put that in the title because someone could actually use this as a planter quite uh, easily. So I could do that. Possibly charge twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine plus my postage. Unfortunately, from a fiver, I'm not going to get much profit out of that. Um, but it's just one of those unfortunate circumstances, and you just have to make the best of a bad situation, really. So now I've just got to get my money out of it and get a small amount of profit out of it if I can. But yeah, interesting one. And if I do see one of these ones with this coloured fruit on in the future, I definitely will be picking it up because I don't think I've seen one like this. I've seen a few different variants of these pots, but and I've picked them up as as well in the past but uh, i don't think i've seen this one so that's quite interesting now as i say a five is a little bit much for this so really if you could get these for maybe three or four pound at a car boot that would be more like like it and the other ones um don't do as well so just the cream one or just the brown one they don't do as well yeah i mean these days you're probably just looking at about 14.99 plus your postage you used to be able to get more than that but to be honest, I would say that really that's probably around right now. You might be able to get 20 quid plus postage out of them, but I think that's going to be a push. I think you're going to be pushing at that, and it might take you quite a while to get that. But anyway, that's that one, and that is a little bit of an explanation about the whole pot breakage yesterday.
So next, another painting. I know it went crazy on paintings yesterday, didn't I? Um, and I saw this stickered up at four quid. I mean, it's, it doesn't look like anything really, really special uh, to me. Uh, it's by a painter called Raymond, is that Raymond? Yeah, I think it's Raymond. Don't know how well you're going to see that signature there. Um, but it's quite nice. You know, it's got kind of a subtlety to it, this painting. You might be able to just see some birds in the distance there. It's, you know, it's just subtle. It's nice. There's not too much going on. But sometimes it's nice to have one of these paintings up, you know. Just that it's nice and subtle. And you can just look at and glance at from time to time. And think, oh, that's, you know, I quite like that. Um, so there's a nice element of subtlety in it. And as I say, I paid four quid for this. Um... And I don't think I'm going to go for a lot on it. Possibly 19.99 or 24.99 plus my postage, and that'll be that. And I should get a fairly quick turnaround on something like that, as long as I do good keywords and stuff. I can see that someone's going to like this, and I can see that it has a little bit more of a wider appeal than some of the other paintings I picked up today as well. So, yeah, I'm I'm quite confident on that one, and I was always going to pick it up for four quid. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then I got some interesting playing cards, and we're in this little box. Now, I don't know whether this is the original box. I, I wouldn't have said so, but I don't know. It might not have been. And uh, they buy this company or brand or whatever, or makers, uh, so, so bran, so branny, so branny. Um, and basically, they're of all depictions of various different ladies. Uh, obviously, some of them are n not clothed. So I'm not going to... I was going to show them, but I don't want to get my demonetized or anything. So what I'll do is I'll go through them. I'll have a nice cheeky little look while I'm going through them. And then when I come to one that isn't a naked lady, I'll show it to you. Although I don't think at this point we're going to... Okay, this one's okay. Right, I'll show you this one. Right, so very weird, very different. Or oh, they've got this gold as well around them, which is really, really nice. Um, and actually, I think of the yeah, they've got gold round the round the rim. I don't know whether you can see that, but we've got gold round the rim there. So yeah, just interesting, um, different, quirky, unusual. Could you even call them in that Art Deco-like style? Or, maybe not Art Deco, Art Nouveau. I suppose they've got that little bit of Art Nouveau style to them. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing, really. But we've got a very avant-garde one here. I mean, we've got a, a, a pair of lips smoking a cigarette with some sort of fumes coming. I don't know. I haven't a clue what's going on in some of these. But And then we've got, uh, obviously, that's depicting, what is it, the clubs or something there. But it's still very odd. Yeah, they're very, very odd things, really. And then we've got some more naked ladies. So we'll go through these. We'll scan through these. And then we've got another pair. Oh, and then we've got another pair of lips here. Um, so, yeah, just interesting playing cards, really, just gen generally. Now, one of these on Complete and Sold has gone for a fiver plus post, which is really odd. And then it's odd because another one has gone for twenty four ninety nine plus post. And I looked at both the listings, and they're both the same set. So that is a very wide variety in price, really, from a fiver to twenty four ninety nine. So I'm going to go obviously at the twenty four ninety nine because that has the one has sold for that. So there's no reason that I couldn't get these. Now again, it's one of these items that I was umming and ahhing on um, because they were stickered up at four quid, and I thought if one sold for just a fiver, then obviously I'm not going to get any profit on them. But I just went for it. I went with my gut instinct. And I'm going to put them on at that higher price. Because as I say, they have sold for that. And we'll see. And if I need to come down, then I need to come down. Uh, if I need to come down to maybe 15 or 20, then so be it. But I thought I would pick them up anyway. They're interesting, they're different. Something I've not really seen before. And I always like picking up items that I've not really seen before. So yeah, £4 on them. And as I say, they come in this uh, rather nice looking little case. A little bit of wear to it and stuff. As I say, I don't know whether it's the original case, but it's still nice to have them in that little case. And then finally, I'm going to roll back for this one so you can kind of fit it in. Oh, a massive, uh, it's sort of, I think it's an oil painting. Uh, really, really big there. I don't know whether that's going to come out well on camera, but actually from a distance, this looks quite nice. When you're up close to it, it's a little bit kind of bold and in your face, but from a distance, it does look quite nice. Now, I paid seven quid for this. I'm going to... 
tilt that down to the camera more. Seven pound there. It's in this nice gilt frame. Now, do you remember when I uh, got those other paintings, the paintings of a pheasant and the, the, the other kind of traditional landscape painting the other week in those gilt frames? This gilt frame, I would have said, isn't quite as good a quality as the other ones, but it's still, you know, it's still a nice gilt frame at the end of the day. And it's quite a nice looking little painting, or oh, I say little, quite a nice looking big painting actually this one. Now I don't know what I'm going to go on this, I really haven't a clue. I'm going to put this down because it's far too big and unwieldy to, to keep in my hands. Um, taken out of context, that could sound so wrong, no one take that ever out of context. Uh, context. But yeah, uh, I don't know, I mean 40 or 50 quid or something. I can't work out the name of the artist. It's something like F, uh, is it F O U or F A U? It's something like that. I don't know. Um, it's probably a local artist, possibly someone in France. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I just. If it's maybe F, if the name's maybe F-A-U, it just seems from, f to me French, I don't know why. Um, maybe it's some sort of nickname or something that they're, they're obviously painting under or something, I don't know. But yeah, interesting looking piece. I would have said around, you know, 40 or 50, something like that, but it could be more than that. I'm just, I'm just making a speculative guess at that. But it's interesting, it's cool, it's quirky, it's different. And when I saw it on the wall, I picked it up immediately and thought, yeah, for seven quid, I'll have that. Can't really go wrong. So, yeah, that's that one there. And that is everything from today's haul video. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today's video, we're going to get through 10 sales in roughly 10 minutes. You know how it goes. Sometimes I ramble and it ends up being a 15 or 20 minute video. I'm going to try and cut this down as best I can and get it in that sort of 8 to 10 minute range. So with that being said and with that being the goal, we best get on with this. So I've got my trusty phone in my pocket so I can read off the sales and I will put superimposed images by the side of me here so that then you can see the sales as well. So, first off, we've got this vintage, and yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put vintage in the title. I'm so used to putting vintage in every title that I do, I kind of do it as a force of habit now. So, I don't know whether this actually was vintage. I may have been wrong in actually putting vintage there. But it possibly could have been late 90s that it was done, I'm not sure. But possibility is, I've actually screwed up on that one and put vintage in the title when it's not actually vintage. But anyway, vintage portrait, vintage... Portrait, sequin art, bead, design, picture, brand new and sealed. Pick this up at the car boot, as you may be well aware, a few weeks ago for a pound. So one pound into ten pound plus postage. Really, really good margin on that. Nice bread and butter sale there. Next, we've got this Vintage Live Studio Pottery Pedestal Bowl Charger. This was a huge thing. I mean, it wasn't really, really, really massive. I have had bigger ones than this, but it was big for what it is. And obviously heavy as well. Um, and it was... It wasn't stoneware, but it kind of had a little bit of that look to it as well. Uh, and really, really nice one, this. Uh, $24.99 plus my postage I got on this one. I bought a load of these from an auction uh, job lot. I think I got them for around £10 or £15 plus commission. There was only about five or six things in the lot. So this will have cost me about £4, give or take. So a little bit higher than some of the other uh, items that I get out of auction job lots. So yeah, about £4 cost to me and uh, into £25 pound plus postage obviously this took a little while to go because it's not one of those items that sells really really quick but it did sell in the end and i'm pretty happy with the price that i got for it so next something a little bit interesting something that i've not actually had before so i had to include this in the sales update so this is a vintage Khalif, i think is how you pronounce that woolworth blue and white ceramic ring holder 12.99 I don't know why I put free postage on that. I don't know. Maybe there was postage and it's not actually showing up here on this uh, on this screenshot. But yeah, twelve ninety nine for this. Obviously, we'll just got this in an auction job lot, probably for not a lot of money, probably for less than a quid, something like that. And it's interesting because, as I say, I've never really had one of these items. And I don't know who it was that told me it was a ring holder. Maybe it was my mum. Maybe it was uh, someone I messaged because I may have messaged someone about this. Um, but anyway, someone let me know that it was a ring holder because I didn't know what it was at all. Um, and yeah, twelve ninety nine for that. As I say, it wouldn't have cost me a lot in one of these auction job lots. So I'm just happy to get a bit of money out of that one. And uh, yeah, nice little bread and butter sale there. 
So next, something else I got from the car boot, not three weeks ago, something like that, three or four weeks ago. Uh, Airfix Ford Fiesta RS WRC Starter Model Kit, 132 is the scale. 17.99 free postage on this one, uh, and I paid £3.50 on this one, so I paid up a little bit for this one. I would, you know, I wanted to get it for maybe two fifty three quid, as I mentioned in the haul video, but he wouldn't come down. He was at, a, he was at four quid. I wanted it for like two fifty three quid, um, and he would only come down to three fifty. But still, three fifty to eighteen quid. I'm still happy with that. Don't know, get, don't get me wrong. It is still a decent margin, but I always like to get things for as cheap as possible. Um, but on that occasion, the guy wasn't willing to come down anymore. And it's fair enough, I ended up picking it up. And I'm glad I did, because obviously it was a fairly quick flip in the end. Um, and I got some good money out of it pretty quickly. So, yeah, that's that one. That was brand new and sealed as well. So definitely, if you see these sort of Airfix model kits around, if you can get them for a couple of quid, then just have a go, just have a go on them, just have a punt, because... If we're a fairly decent size and we're of, of some sort of sort of famous model or, or a decent car or something, then you're probably going to make some decent money on them. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, Vintage Queen's Calico Blue Floral Pattern Bowls. Uh, $24.99 plus my postage on these. Didn't take forever to sell, but again, it's one of those items that doesn't sell overnight, it's not a really, really quick flip or anything. Um, but yeah, four of these bowls, I didn't think these were actually going to be worth that much money. I thought I'd be putting these on for $12.99 plus postage, something like that. But I did a bit of research and these are actually worth a little bit more than I was thinking. So yeah, you can actually get 25 quid plus postage for these. Obviously, you know, it's a bit of a waiting game. If I put these on for less, the chances are they would have sold a little bit quicker. Um, but obviously I wanted to get a decent price from them. So $24.99 plus postage on those. Again, came in an auction job lot for four bowls there and probably have only got about three quid sunk into them in terms of what I've paid for them. So yeah, not a lot of money there really, so about three quid, possibly four quid into 25 quid plus my postage. So again, a good little margin on those. Next, vintage diamond pattern multicolored hand painted studio pottery or studio art pottery plate. Uh, Fifteen pound plus my postage on this one. I really, really did like this plate. Really, really funky. Um, this is kind of me in a plate. This is my personality in a plate, and that is why I really, really liked it. I saw it in a charity shop, picked it up. I saw it was stickered up at two quid, and I thought, yeah, I'm definitely having that. Whacked it on for fifteen quid plus my postage, of course. Took a few months to go, again with these studio pottery items, as I've mentioned so many times in the past on videos, they do take a little bit to go, but eventually they do go and this one did sell um, and it's off to a new home. So yeah, £2 into 15 quid plus postage, really really happy with that one. So next we've got this vintage blue and white bird design wooden suns transfer printed ceramic bowl. Nice looking little bowl this one, but obviously it was transfer printed, it wasn't necessarily hand painted or anything like that. But still, there can be good money in a lot of transfer pl uh, printed stuff and transfer wear and stuff like that. So don't brush them off just because, let's say, something's transfer printed opposed to hand painted. It's just for a personal preference of mine, I like hand painted rather than transfer wear. But still, it's a nice looking item. $14.99 there, plus my postage. Again, something I've had on for a little while, but I can't complain uh, because I think I got this from an auction job lot again. Again, estimating the cost here, possibly no more than around two or three pound on this. So yeah, $14.99 plus my postage from two or three quid. Really, really happy with that one. Nice little sale there. Next, something I actually got for free from my granddad. Uh, I don't know where he got this from, possibly out of some garage clearance he was doing or whatever it may have been. Um, but yeah, vintage solid brass metalware mortar and pestle, or should have put there pestle and mortar. Um, or is it pestle? Pestle or pestle? I'm not sure how you pronounce it actually. Uh, but I actually put in the title chemist or a pof. Or I can never pronounce this one as well. Apothecary? Is that right? Apothecary? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure on how you pronounce it. But my dad actually said, uh, he mentioned to my mum and then my mum reiterated it to me. Uh, that he thought it may have been a chemist one, just with the size of it. So I put that in the title. 
and I'm really, really glad I actually put that in the title because it sold pretty quick and I think it's to do with those keywords in the title. It sold within about a week for 25 quid plus postage. I didn't get a penny, I didn't pay a penny for this as I mentioned, I got it from my granddad. Um, so yeah, 24.99 plus um, £4.49 postage. Really, really happy with that one. Nice little sale there. And if you see these really solid, heavy and larger um, sort of brass, pestle and mortars, then definitely get them and they're going to be some money at least and if you put certain keywords in the title that might help them sell as well so yeah that's that one and then i think oh no we've got two more left we're not on the last one yet next is this classic dot two bbc collectible figure sith doctor terror of the, Ver the voids of course with it being the first episode of the ad show how could i not put a doctor who sale in this sales update so yeah um dot two Sip Doctor figure, as I say, Terror of the Vervoids version, 9.95, free postage on this, um, and yeah, it is what it is really. Again, this will be something I'm actually in profit on from one of the job lots, one of the Doctor Who job lots. I was pretty much in profit a while ago, and now I'm just working through the remainder of them. In fact, I've, I've got a fair few still listed, but considering the amount that I actually had originally, I've not got that many listed. So, uh, yeah, it's still, I need to actually buy some more Doc 2 figures, get a few more of them in, um, and, and, yeah, stock up on them, really, because they've sold really well. They've been really, really consistent, as I've said in the past. I mean, the odd week here and there, I've not had many sales of them, but most weeks they've been pretty consistent, and I've got a few sales each week. So, yeah, you know, if you like Doctor Who, if you like selling Doctor Who, if you're interested in Doctor Who like I am, then, yeah, just go out there and try and find some figures because they are pretty uh, steady sellers. So, yeah, that's that one there. And then finally, vintage cut glass cigarette holder with removable ashtray top. This was quite an interesting little item. You know, I mean, it's nothing to really scream or shout about, but it's just quite nice. And it's interesting that it has the removable kind of ashtray for the top there. Um, again, something that I got in an auction job lot couple of quid cost at maximum as i've always mentioned on these sales updates i always overestimate what these things have cost me in auction job lots so when i say two pound or three pound i'm actually aiming high and it's probably cost me less than that but yeah rounding up it probably cost me around two quid something like that um and yeah two quid into 14.99 plus my postage can't really complain with that one so that is all the sales for this sales update and uh, i suppose i will see you next time so that is it that is the end of the first episode of the ad show so i just want to thank you all for watching it's been really really good to put this show together i've spent a lot more time on it and it's just come out a lot better than i expected um and i'm just so so happy to go forward move forward with the channel in this way and just get some really, really good, well-edited content out there, opposed to just videos where I'm not taking as much time and as much consideration on uh, as I have done in the past. So anyway, I'll leave it there. All I would ask is if you would consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. And of course, if you did like the video, then please do give it a like down below. And don't forget to throw any comments, questions or queries you may have down below. I'm going to actually be doing a question segment on this show at some point. I've got loads of different segments lined up. Um, I've got a few different ideas that I want to do as well. So it should be really, really interesting. And we'll see where we take this. We'll see where it goes. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.